Hey, it's Brian Mudd. This is my cheat sheet for Thursday, October 25th. The, hire, the companies that are hiring the most right now, and they're not all seasonal jobs. A few of these might surprise you. Number five, Best Buy. A lot of that is the seasonal story, but even despite some of the problems and the layoffs you've heard recently, including laying off top executives, they're hiring a bunch of people right now, and they might keep some of the folks that are on seasonally past the holidays. Kindred Healthcare. That's obviously a healthcare story, and you know those positions aren't seasonal. Toys R Us is coming in at number three. A lot of these positions will end up being seasonal jobs, uh, but they are hiring still about 17,000 people right now. Family Dollar is the second biggest hirer right now. More than 20,000 people they're looking to hire right now. And a lot of these positions will be uh, permanent positions beyond the holidays as they continue to expand. And the company hiring the most people right now, AT&T. Uh, AT&T stores looking to add considerable uh, depth as they roll out more stores as we are into the holiday shopping season here pretty quick. But also as you continue to see the build out of mobile and more devices. So again, a lot of these positions, the biggest hirer right now, AT&T, will be around past the holidays. Now, if you have a small business, this is a tool you absolutely need. It is the Small Business Planner. Small Business Planner from the FCC. Uh, nearly 30 to 40% of all cyber attacks now on businesses are targeting companies that have fewer than 500 employees. So, as these sophisticated attacks have made their way through a lot of companies, obviously you and a small business are far more vulnerable. And as you have more people that aim at your company, uh, it, it can seem pretty daunting to protect yourself in a world in which the major companies can't do so. That's where this tool comes into play from the FCC. They have steps in what you should do for your business. They have tools and information for you to be able to help yourself, most importantly, what you have to do to make sure your business is protected to the extent it can be. Because remember, it's not just your business, it's your customers too if you get compromised online. And it's a free resource too. So, I mean, it does get a lot better again. FCC, uh, Small Business Planner. And that's on my physical cheat sheet if you need more information on it. Uh, okay, iPads. So will the Apple announcement end up meaning big success or is this the first time in the modern Apple era to where they're really going to start to disappoint because, yeah, a lot of folks were with the iPhone 4S. They're like, eh, you know, not going to be a big deal. As we know, it turned out to be a big deal. And initially, there was some consternation over so many different new products and the new iPad especially, just six months from the third generation. Here's what we know. It's set to be a huge, huge hit. Trade-ins since the announcement on Thursday of existing iPads is up more than 1,000%. More than 1,000%. The reason... As people are trading them in, are planning on buying the new ones. And so you are likely to see an absolutely gigantic, gigantic launch and quarter for both the new iPad and the iPad Mini. Should be a huge hit for Apple. Here's a spin on the old story about there's no uh, bad PR. Any PR is good PR? We know that's not necessarily true. Just ask Lance Armstrong uh, or perhaps even Tiger Woods. But we do know that in many situations... PR, even if it's not favorable at the time, can have good benefits to the company. Enter Chick-fil-A. We're going to revisit the entire situation. You know what the controversy surrounding Chick-fil-A was. Well, we just got the most recent results in. Guess what? Existing store sales ended up growing more than 2.6%. They ended up seeing market share grow in almost all of the markets they are in around the country. And they are continuing to see customer account up as well. So in all of the metrics that Chick-fil-A uses to judge their business, they were extremely successful last quarter. In fact, the best quarter they've ever had on record. So back to the story about no PR being bad PR. Anyway, uh, all right. And I'm more putting of information on my physical cheat sheet, including things that uh, you should not, that people are looking for right now in resumes what to avoid, and how to word things to try to get yourself hired, and also information about whether you should be paying down your mortgage or funding your retirement. That's the cheat sheet for today. Enjoy yours. We shall see you tomorrow.